According to a World Bank report, almost half of Papua New Guinea's 7 million people are malnourished. It is a concern echoed by both the health and agriculture agencies in the country that have been reminding people about the dangers of eating unhealthy food. If you eat well... Wilson Karoke, a nutritionist from the National Health Department, says although Papua New Guinea produces abundant food supplies, many people are still not able to eat well. And that is largely fueled by the change in eating habits as more and more people become increasingly ignorant about what they eat. In Papua New Guinea, the study showed that we are 48 point two percent. The W standard in the world is any country that is over forty percent it's serious. So you can see that we are forty eight point two which is very, very serious. The change in eating habit to a large extent affects a person's growth and a child's ability to learn. And it's developing into a visa cycle in almost every Papua New Guinea households, he says. With the traditional from movement of people from from the traditional society into a new new society. They change their eating habits, they change their diet habit, dieting habits, they change their choices and their preferences of food. The change in eating habits has also contributed towards a decline in the life expectancy of Papua New Guineans. This means people who tend to eat unhealthy food are most likely to die early before reaching the age of 65, which is the normal life expectancy of an average Papua New Guinean. Edwin Fidelis, National MTV News, Lay.